Hey guys, sorry for the uh, lack of uh, bells and whistles on this one, and the bit of a, a bit of a shaky cam here. But uh, I'm having to record this on my phone. My uh, computer is uh, uh, damaged at the moment, and uh, the uh, the screen has gone really wonky. I don't think it's it's damaged beyond repair. So hopefully I'll be able to get back and do uh, Metalhead Central like y'all are normally used to seeing it soon. But I uh, wanted to lay down a quick review of the Malevolent Creation album. And uh, this is counting as episode 8 of Metalhead Central. Just sort of Metalhead Central in a drier sense. Uh, really solid death metal release from these guys. I really enjoyed a lot of what I heard off of it. This is death metal the way I like it. Very, very straightforward. And uh, there's not a lot of technicality on here, if I might put it that way. Really, really, really straightforward death metal. Um, something that I, uh, as I said, something that I really, really, really enjoy. Uh, I enjoyed it on the Deicide album last year. I enjoyed it on the Cannibal Corpse album the year before that. Uh, so yeah, very solid, solid death metal release to kick off 2019. Am I going to say it's the best death metal album I've ever heard? No, 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 nowhere near that. Um, but again, a very solid release. I uh, liked a lot of the guitar work on this album. Uh, it was really interesting to hear the band uh, go through some of that. Especially through the choruses. The choruses are very catchy on this album. Another thing I like is, is catchy death metal. Death metal that just sort of sticks up here. And uh, the 13th Beast really, really does that. Um, Malevolent Creation put out a really, really, really catchy album with this one. There is one song on here that I feel like doesn't belong. It's the uh, six minute. There's a six minute track on here that uh, that I really feel like it just doesn't work with the rest of the album. Uh, not really due to length, but just because the rest of the stuff is just so in your face and it sort of punches you in the gut. And then that six minute track just comes in and just sort of wanders a little bit. Didn't really work for me. It wasn't really a terrible song. It just it just didn't feel like it felt it fit with the rest of what Malevolent Creation did on this release. Uh, but again, very 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 solid death metal from these veterans of the scene. Uh, I'm very happy that I picked this up and uh, and listened to it. Um, sounded good production wise. It was great. Uh, really really good stuff from these guys. So, uh, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and throw down an 87 out of 100 on the YPS scale for Malevolent Creations, The 13th Beast. Thank you for watching this uh, drier and shorter edition of Metalhead Central. Yes, like I said, this is episode 8. Uh, episode 9 will be next week, and I have to review the new Bring Me the Horizon album. Pray for me! Especially after that last song that the band dropped. I don't know what they're doing. I mean, Mantra was a really good song. Wonderful Life was a semi-good song, but this last one was just pure crap. It was really bad. So we may be looking at our first contender for Worst Album of the Year when we review Bring Me the Horizon's Amo next week here on Metalhead Central. Thank you so much for watching. Click like, subscribe, and I'll see you all next week.